Channel switched. All right. Chief Sarkin here in some cube world. I'm going to explore the Thalon Pyramid. Hopefully you enjoy the show. So let's head on inside. Oh, there's a fire right there. That's convenient. Stairs. Got to do our jump and climb the wall trick. You just fall down and click the climb wall when you get close to the bottom. We're going to hit our V so we can see the boards. Let's see here. Looks like they're white plus one, so this is probably going to be fairly easy. This is a white dungeon. Probably not going to get much good loot in here until we get to the boss. But it's still fun, so let's do this. I am now level 27, so let's put our points in here. Right now I'm uh, building everything up to 10 since I've already got everything to 5. But We'll go ahead and buff up my heal stream here so I can cast it quicker with less mana. Use my kiting technique. Notice I try and use my two a lot to knock them down, and it's just a matter of killing them quickly. Lots of rogue recipes. Ooh, looks like I need to turn on my lamp. Dark down here. Oh, I'm put. I put my pet away because if that gin drops a slime, I want to tame it. And it's obvious. Some of slime here. Not working with me here. Fine. Gins have the, the ability. <laughs> send slimes after you, which are also pets. Don't step on them. Okay, what do we got up there? I 
like the staff for the AOE whirl effect. If I use a wand, it does the same kind of thing, but it shoots straight in a line. And two bracers do a different effect. So I can show you the wand ability here. So it changes it up. The wand requires a little bit more precision targeting. It's really good for the bosses. Bracers do alternating shooting. It's very similar to Wands. Hmm. What should just happen there? So this guy, we'll go ahead and get our pet back out since uh, he's not going to summon anything. I don't even know if I have a second wand. Our second bracer I could use. Let's see here, three point three. Oops. So and then the bracers alternates. See, I prefer the staff. Yeah, it's another reason why I don't usually go with that. I prefer the the staff or the AOE effect. But if you get two wand or two bracers that are really, really high tempo, you can just see because with water, as you cast it, the faster you get. So you literally can just be casting nonstop. So even though your damage is lower per hit, you're doing four times as many many hits. So it adds up. I just prefer the AOE factor because with a staff, I can shoot around the corner. With the other two, you can't shoot around the corner. And some of these dungeons will respawn pretty quickly. So literally you could sit here and farm them. I don't generally do that. But the possibility is there. So now that we're almost done, I'll go through my gear and see what 
I got, but I haven't cleared the dungeon because remember I just picked a, a direction. Sometimes you'll find stuff on these shelves, sometimes you won't. That was the end of the dungeon. Hmm. Looks like there's somebody nearby. So to get out of here, you have to have fairly decent climbing skills. Usually jumping, and then climbing will get you there. And that would be it for this uh, dungeon. Oops, fell down. If you had to, you can come over here and do some cooking before you head back out into the world. <coughs> Top off our potions. <coughs> Next time we get to town, we'll have to buy some more potions or bottles. You only can carry 50 of an item. And I have nothing I can cook because I cooked it all last time. Let's take a look at our map. Scroll out. I just came from back there. You can tell by the blue I haven't been this direction. And there's a town over there. So the town is where we're going to be heading to next. I do have my hang glider equipped. And there's a cave right there, which I'm still looking for rubies for crafting. They're a really rare node. So, um, if you find emeralds, sometimes you can find rubies, which I have yet to find. And then after that, there's diamonds, which I have found, but only two of. So it's the th neat thing about this game is you spend a lot of time exploring. Fly high! Oh, shit! Oh, I just killed myself. Do not use your mouse button to turn. That was kind of stupid. Ooh, fragment. Isn't very smart. Swapping games can get you killed. Alright, where are we going? We were going over to these mountains. Alright, come here, turtle. Let's go for a ride. Do 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 charge. So currently the turtle is the only tanking pet, which is the reason why I have him out. Even though I have a ton of pets. The key thing about this game is you want to explore a lot. You want to collect resources every chance you go buy something. Because you never know when you're going to need it. As a water mage, I can heal myself. And I can use food to do it. Work with food. We'll sit down and eat. You can collect pets, which is very fun. I got them in alphabetical order here. These are all the pets I've collected. This is the food I need to collect those pets, and these are extra pets that I have to give away for people who come to join me in playing, and I meet up with you, and if you don't have a certain pet, I'll collect it for you. The key thing about pet collecting is you can only have one of the food on you at any given time, but you can have as many of the pets as you want. So if you have the food and you find the pet, collect it, and then you have trading material with other people. You know, you find somebody that's got an extra pet of something that you don't have, trade them. To trade, 
You literally just drop it on the ground. So let's go in this cave and see if we can find some more. The key thing here is you do need a light. Oh, now here's a trick. See this blocks? You can kind of get the impression that the cave goes deeper. That's why we have mines. We're going to blow a hole in the wall. And if it goes deep enough, or the cave actually continues, it'll open it up. If it doesn't, you might blow one or two and then realize it doesn't go anywhere. But sometimes these are shortcuts to get through. Sometimes they take you into much deeper cave areas. See this one? Opened us up over here. So now we got to go deeper. So let's switch back to a potion before we forget. And these are all iron. I don't need iron because my class does not craft with iron. But there's silver and gold, and that I do need to collect ore. You just attack it. If you those, but you can see most of these caves that you blow your way through into will generally have another way in or out. Which is why you know that they can go through. So now we're looking here. From this angle, there potentially is another cave over there. So we'll head that direction. I don't know anything about any dupe bugs there. Uh, ooh, do I have a midge food? Do I have an extra midge food? Melon ice cream. Let's check. Nope. Water ice? Ooh, that's for a spitter. I don't even have that pay yet. Okay. I know there's a lot of um, people that cheat and super level really quickly. I avoid those servers. I like to learn as I go. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of cheating going on. I know, like I said, there are ways to level really quick. I wonder. I seriously doubt this goes anywhere. Let's. I got bombs. Let's use them. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't think it went anywhere. Bark beetles are orange, which means they're tougher to me, but I can throw up a shield. A bunch of experience. And that's how you get experience. Now the key thing about food is you only can get one from a store. Every store that you go to in town only gives you one food. The best way to get food that I found is just kill stuff. It drops. Ooh, is there another cave down here? There is. Oh, this is just a pass through. Interesting. Oh, but there's another one there.
what the thing about water mages, they are a bit overheat because I can kill and heal myself at the same time. I'm just really good as a water mage. I'm just saying. Oh, another fake tunnel. Nothing really here. Alright, so I was going this way. There are also teleport stones in one in every zone. So if you look at your map, each area that's outlined by this lines is a map. Somewhere on here is a single teleport stone. And each zone has one. I have never yet to find one because you can see my path. This is my walking path. It keeps your history. Even though I've opened a lot of the map by seeing it, this is all I've walked. So if I didn't walk past the stone, I didn't find it. The key thing about this game is you can play on any seed. Every seed is randomly generated map that are not the same, but consist of the same named zones. Um, and it saves your progress for every single one of them individually. So if you go play on seed X, and then you go to seed Y, you will not know anything about zone Y's map until you walk it. But if you go back to zone X, your map will be right where you left off. In fact, where you logged out on X is where you log in on X. Where you log out on Y, you log in on Y. So literally, one of the cheats, while it's not directly considered a cheat, is called seed hopping. Leave yourself in a town on one seed, go out and explore the wild when your bags get full, which, by the way, they never get full. They'll just keep expanding to make more room. And then go to over to another seed and sell stuff. Or you'll park yourself at a dungeon, jump over to a seed that's in town, clean up. Ooh, I got some more candy. And then so on and so forth. You get the idea. That works. They'll probably say I missed because I'm too far away. Oh. That's pretty cool. Actually, a recipe I can read. Cool. That's a rogue recipe. Got three rogue recipes in a row. Oh, I got blue leftovers. Leftovers are random things that you have to take into town and get identified. Let's move those up here so I remember about them. All right, we were heading north again, right? Over there. Okay.
off. And that's another way some people level so fast. All they do is sit there and farm stuff. Me, I usually just kill it if I'm going past it. So I'd rather just explore. I got turn. for a fire beetle. Can I even tame a fire beetle? Fire beetle, as far as we know, no. Bummer. Oh, we got the road that leads us to town. We find one of these that changed colors compared to the terrain. It's a road. Not saying it's going to be safe, but it will always lead you to a town if you follow it. I usually like the more cross-country paths, but it's all good. If anybody got any questions, feel free to ask. I can show you. Um, if you haven't seen it, watch my What is Cube World video. It gives you a lots of uh, interesting tidbits on how to actually play the game. I pretty much cover it all. That's up on my YouTube channel. And there's town. Is that a raiding party or friendly party? That's a raiding party. <laughs> That's one dead. Raiding party. Alright. We have arrived at the town. Dun dun dun. I think I have food for a collie. Collie, bubble gum. Yep, so here's how you tame a pet. You go to your thing. You put it in your pet slot. And lo and behold, the pet will come over and go, Oh, I want to be your friend. 
you go back to your thing, and now you have a pet. So now I can hold another bubble gum if I needed to. Blue names, they're friendly, like you can talk to them. Zoom in just a touch here. I'll come back here. All right. Pumpkin match. I don't have any pumpkin match. I'm going by myself. Okay. Crafting. All right. Got to come over here and melt our ore. Full on gold. Full on silver. Um, this is a weapons crafting station. If you haven't seen one before, you can come in here. Um, I'll show you that in a sec. Let's see if I got any new recipes I can learn. I didn't check it out when I was in here before. Since I leveled a couple of times. My power is 58, so I can learn anything up to 58. Good. Shouldn't be anything out here. Rogue, rogue, rogue. Ranger. Rogue. Need a rogue to give people some recipes here. Ranger. Usually I have these separated by power rating so I can quickly find them. Some things have got I'm out of place here. So I apologize for the kind of bad looking bags here. Okay, let's find the store. Typically the first thing I do is I'll find the store, which is the vial. Clean out old inventory, buy new inventory. <laughs> so basically, anything I don't want here, which is going to be anything white, or green that's not better than what I'm already wearing or I can't use. Ooh, that's got a nice tempo on there. Nice tempo but less crit. Temple's already 134. Okay. 
So the key when looking at your gear is your power rating is only determined by your level and whether you can equip it or not. It has nothing to do with how good an item is. Um, your hit points is your HP. Obviously, that's how much it adds to your hit points. Uh, your armor value, same. Resilience is how resistant you are to them. Tempo is your casting speed. How fast are you doing stuff? Anything over 100%, 100% being normal, is faster. Regeneration is your ability to regenerate hit points and mana outside of combat. And your crit rating is your crit rating. Depending upon your class is how important certain things are. Damage being what it is, it's all about your weapons rating and so on and so forth. So I typically stack um, tempo to get, be cast as fast as I can, and then secondary crit, and I don't really worry about the other stats too much. Hello, Jared. And you can tell if it's red texted, you can't use it at all. So it doesn't really matter. So here, a green item has is uh, less tempo and less crit than a white item. So color doesn't always indicate quality. So or use. So you really got to look at things. Um, here I'm wearing purple, but the, the the key thing of why I still like it over the other is even though I have, it's got a high tempo on there, so. Let's see here, wood wand. So I compare my wand to my wand. 19, 10, tempo 4.3, tempo 4.5, okay. And usually you can indicate by color, reds are always mages, so that makes it really easy to sort also. Common staff wand. So this is my old staff that I actually customized. And I, just I changed it out because it does three less damage and tempos 0.3 less but crit goes up from 0.2 to 1. So I took the, the green mat stack. So we'll get rid of the white one. You can see I've been out in the field for a while. So this one was a tough toss up. It's 2.2 crit, but 1.8 tempo. So here I can do a comparison. It's actually better. So I saw that one. Ooh, 25 staff. But it'll lose a lot of tempo. Wood one, 23 tempo, but 2.2 .2 crit. Yeah, I missed it. Silk gloves. Hmm. Your buyback tab. And here's my collection of blue stuffs have been saved. Ooh. Tempo 7%. Crit goes down. Hmm. It's a 
death call. Oops. Go up in tempo, go down and crit a little bit. Yeah, we're going to keep this one. Okay. <laughs> Yellow bow for a ranger. This is all blue, purple, yellow. Candy. Let's see here. I should just sell my iron since I can't use it. And I'm always collecting it anyway. I know that's irritating. Same thing with these. I don't use them. Get rid of them. So I can collect more later. <laughs> Two copper to sell a pet. That's funny. Okay, 323, 535. We'll get rid of the rest of those. Try and clean up my inventory here a little bit. Let's see here. Still have not figured out what candles are for. I know you can just drop them in places. Now, two hundreds, forty nine, forty six. Okay, so now what I do is I always go buy every recipe that I can use on every vendor because they never seem to double up. Even if it's way lower than me, I figure there might be a new player that needs something. Might as well have the recipe available. And we're done at this vendor until we go fill up water bottles. Now let's see if I can actually use some of those right this second. Okay. Where's my... 
that. Our glass is right over here. So we got that one blue item to identify. So let's go in here and do that. Town maintenance in this game is actually takes a little bit of time. So <laughs> appreciate you bearing with me to identify. You just put it up in here. It tells you how much it's going to cost to identify. It identifies it. Puts it in your bag. And I got a blue piece for a warrior. If I wasn't saving gear to give away, I may have to stop saving blues also if I start filling up too much. But for now, it's fine. Now, if we remember correctly, just north of town was plenty of fountains to fill up water. Let's find one of those. Oh, there's one. Gonna fall in the water. Open up my crafting window. Hit my ball. Oh. Push it out. Water flasks. Gonna fill up these. These are how you make your potions. Because of the different recipes, I carry 50 full of water vials and then 50 not full of water vials, so I can make potions as I need to on the fly. Ooh. Mm. Potions you can make anywhere, but food you need a fire. So I'll fill up with those. Oops. Go ahead and go here. This is part of the maintenance where you may run back and forth a few times because you can only carry 50, but you want to leave town with a full complement of both because sometimes towns can be few and far between. So we'll come back in here. Buy another 50. Make another eight of these. This is using up my cactuses. Now I can't make any more because I'm full. And it uses empty glass vials. The other recipe, the potions, takes full glass vials. But I'm already full on potions, so I don't need to make any, I don't think. Either that or I don't have any flowers to make them. So I have 50 of those already. Oh, I see. So I'm out of heart flowers. So if I go to my inventory, I have 50 full, 50 empty. So we're ready to hit the road, except for doing crafting. Now we're going to see if there's any new gear I can actually make for myself rather than using a drop. The crafting district is straight ahead. So let's take a look at that real quick. First thing we'll craft our yarn. I don't think I have room for any, but craft silk if we have it. Nope, I'm full on silk. So I don't need to do that. So now we just gotta hit the crafting table. See if I learned any recipes that are helpful. So we click on armor. Let's see here. So that gives me 1.4 tempo, 1.3 crit. 
If I want to replace my shoulders, the next best shoulders is right here. You always want to scroll down because just because it's at the top of the highest power does not necessarily mean it's better. Especially if you go down here and you get something that's blue. Like here, I'm looking for the Ruby Nuggets because these would be some really good gloves. 4.9 tempo, whatever, so on. But here, I'll drop down in health, drop down in armor, drop down in resilience, drop, but I'll get more tempo. I think my tempo is good at the moment. Here, lose a lot of tempo. Here, get a lot of crit. So I may just keep everything I'm currently wearing for my armor. Let's walk over here to the forge. I think I already did everything. Let's take a look and see if there's any new jewelry or weapons. 4.4 4 crit with 13 damage for the bracer. That was where you wear two of them. To make a wand, a lot less tempo than the staff. Oh, but I gotta look at my wand that I have in my inventory, which is 4.5 tempo, 7 tempo, or no, 2.9 tempo. Okay, how about the staff? So the staff is still worth keeping. Here's a customization table. So here we would connect. Let's do our wood first. See how much wood we got. I seem to go through a, a lot of wood. Being a mage. Oh, so I'm already full up. And I didn't see any weapons I want to make. So let's just customize this staff by hitting here, putting it in the window, and adding blocks to it. I can add up to 32 blocks, plus I can add spirit damage. So let's go ahead and do that. It's not going to be quite center. Let's just put that up there. It's supposed to be 
two, two. Not quite getting the effect I want here. Two steps. One. Two steps there.
Well, that just got all kinds of complicated, didn't it? All right. All that just to make my staff look cool. And it drags in the ground. You see what I'm writing, no? All right, so now that we've done that, Now we need to decide where we want to go. So a good way to decide is these are quest objectives. You can also go towards something you haven't been to before. This whole center zone I haven't been to. You can also look for a guy in town who will give you a quest. So let's look around town. See if anybody wants to talk to us and give us a quest. You can tell that because he'll have a little quest bubble up on his head. But he doesn't really tell you it's a quest, he just suggests a place to go. Probably going to be towards the center of town. And it's about to get dark, so let's go into the end and switch to the time. That also resets the timers on dungeons and places that you may have visited before.
Ooh, what's this? I've never seen that before. Oh, this is the merch trainer. <laughs> so here, you could switch skills if you wanted to. He's red. Red is bad. I see Mopi on orange. Try and do a red. Not gonna happen. Not well. Anytime you see bats, that means there's a cave around. Whether you have access to it or not is a question. Definitely a cave system here. Time for a bomb. Myself. Guess I was a little too close on that one. Nope, that's not the way it goes. Okay, it could be wrong here. Because now I'm stuck in the mountain. extra questions there. Eh? Oh, I'm still carrying my work around.
Ooh, a goblin. I have food for a biter. Biter would be a pancake. Oh, I guess I don't have a biter. Oh, I have a spitter. Never mind. Never mind. is not the most exciting of uh, streams. not be a shortcut this way. Maybe just a dead end. Nope, it's open. Look like it was fun. We'll try it. See what happens. Nope, oh, that's a dead end. A lot of bombs to get to here. Might be an indication of uh, a way through on the other side. See, that almost gives the impression there's a cave there. Uh oh, hope we're not stuck. Might have been where we were at down there. Now that I look at it.
Oop, I see a cave. Looks like a big one. I also see a mosquito. So let's just leave that mosquito behind. Chocolate cakes for a raccoon. That's good to know. Slightly off track for that. Caves there, there's two of them. See there and there. Ooh, witches. They're nasty. Oh, he's an orc. <laughs> Ooh, a whole bunch of porcupines. What do porcupines eat? Black brown marmalade. I 
so. Exciting cave. There is one around. Somehow there, sometimes they go. Oh, I can't carry any more wood. Exciting, isn't it? Flies. I think I have something for a fly. Fruit basket, yes. And I don't have a fly yet. This will be my first fly.
zoom in on this. I see any cave entrance over here. so I can't carry it. Interesting. Talk to you guys later. Have a good night.